Hi, everybody. It's Ray. Let me make me big. I am attempting to do this video again. This is actually video 11 of the series or 10. No, this is video 10. This is day three. I had to delete the other one because supposedly, unfortunately, when it went out, uh, the sound didn't come out in StreamYard. And that happens sometimes that I can hear it. And then if I'm moving around too many screens, sometimes StreamYard gets a little bit unhappy with that. And so it will not bring the sound, but I'll hear the sound. It's happened to me when I've live streamed before. So I do apologize. So I had to get rid of that video. And now I'm re-recording this one. And I'm trying to remember all the things that I added into the last one. So I'm going to try to make this quick um, because they're quick videos. And I have a couple of more to do. Uh, I'm trying to keep up with my challenge and I'm getting tired. So I can tell that I'm losing, losing my ability to focus a little bit. <laughs> it was tiring me out so much. But anyway, any of the material that I use from Tim's video is all under fair use. And I just want to put that out there, everybody. And again, I always have to put my disclaimers out there that this is just my opinion, my opinion only, even though I am a registered nurse and trained to be a nurse practitioner. I am not treating or diagnosing anybody in these videos, <laughs> but I need some treatment for my mental health by the end of this probably. So one of the things, and I'll make me small, and gosh, I hope this video goes well, because I just started to record it, and I realized I did not even have my microphone in front of me. <laughs> so, yeah, we're getting to that level of tired now. <laughs> So let me make me small. But I did want to point out a couple of interesting things. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at Tins Buy Me a Coffee to see if he's been able to get the golf glove and the golf uh, umbrella that he was dry begging for earlier tonight. And then I thought we'd just take a quick peek, see at his stats here. I know that Darling's been talking a lot about his analytics. I think it's really important uh, for people to understand kind of how YouTube works. Um, how we make our money as creators, how, you know, just he has no authority to complain about AdSense being given to media companies that have news channels or whatever when he makes all this money on Google AdSense. And I'm sorry if I'm starting to not make any sense, but I'm getting tired over here. So yeah, let's just take a quick peek, see at this. Um, and then we're, luckily we've got just some short videos. I got the biggest one out of the way. Okay. So I was trying to show everybody the views that Tim has got comparatively to me. I'm the blue, Tim's the red. And over the past 30 days, Tim has had 888,000 views. That's a lot of views. That's a lot of money to be made through AdSense. I, on the other hand, in my bitty little channel, cause I don't want to, you know, overdo it on my channel and just it, it can be tiring to produce a lot of content after a while which is why tim is just to you know put up the camera shoot and just film his life uh, rather than actually trying to put together anything um but in my time it's you know potentially going to change this week and potentially this month because i'm challenging myself um to do a little bit more content making um before i start school because then i'm going to have to you know, I'll be studying more and I won't be able to put out content anywhere near this. And I'll be at work and I'll be studying. Sorry, there was a bug that landed on my computer. I'm sorry if I came up my screen like that. Um, that um, it will be a little different for me. So anyway, my views are a fraction of what Tim's views are. And maybe this is what I needed to learn was to start to put out more videos. But I know that YouTube also doesn't like you to flood out too much, you know, because they don't want this sort of thing happening, you know, because for their advertisers too. So um, I don't know how good it is just to be spitting out content, but you can see here he had, you know, quite a few views on May 9th, 58.5. That's a lot of views. He probably put out a lot of videos there and here 53.2. Uh, a uh, thousand. That was a very good day for Tim. One day he actually had a little, looks like less than me. And then here already June 5th and we're not even finished yet. Um, and I look like I forgot nothing like zero. Why have I only nothing gained? How's I know people are watching. <laughs> I put my videos out late, which is probably why. Uh, but already in one 
just today, June 5th, 20,000 views. It's good money, Tim. It's very good money. Um, I would be very happy with a day like that on my little tiny channel. Um, so yeah, that's what uh, he had going on there. I don't know why I did that. Let me go back. Sorry, I was trying to look at the channel analytics. I'm so sorry. I am telling you, I'm getting tired. Let me refresh the screen to get the channel analytics back. Because I wanted to show you something about his, uh, here we go. Um, all over the place. Okay, so the videos over the last 30 days, that's what I'm trying to hit. You can see here, uh, he put 10 videos out. And then so that May 9th date where he got, see, I didn't even put anything, got zero uploads there. Um, <laughs> I think it was the end of me being very sick. Um, anyway, um, he put out 10 and then that following day is when he got that big, like 50 some thousand views. So he, you know, thinks, okay, if I can get five or 6,000 views per video, I put out 10 of these things, I'll get 58,000 views. So, I mean, this is how he's chucking it out. Just throwing out these videos. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Wow. wow, wow, wow. You know, this is just amazing. Amazing to see how he's throwing out content. You look at me, my little videos, I'm putting one out, you know, nothing. Now I'm up with Tim level over here. So I was not used to putting out this amount, you know, of content <laughs> at all. Um, my, my dishes are feeling neglected. And then <laughs> over here is his subscribers. Now, this is the only place where I'm actually improving comparatively to Tim. I had 385 new subs. Thank you guys so much. That's when I started doing my Tim content. You can see I started to gain more subs. Oh, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm not doing too bad. You know, I'm, I'm kind of maintaining some, some growth here. Tim, on the other hand, is not getting any subs. Like nobody is signing up for this stuff. Ever since, this is like, you know, just nothing here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. In fact, he lost 108 subs. So that's kind of what it looks like he's got going on uh, with his channel currently. And we'll just keep an eye on it. I know um, other people have as well, but it's fascinating to see because it gives you a better idea, especially when you understand how YouTube works, why he doesn't want this gravy train to stop. This is a lot of money to him. This is something that is going to benefit him if he can keep this going. He needs to keep this going. He needs these types of views right up in here. He's 53, 58. This is good money. He's probably, you know, he's making good money these days. That's good AdSense right there. Okay. Now let's take a look at his coffee because I said that I wanted to see whether or not he was getting any more coffee. So he said, hey, you can buy me a coffee. Thank you very much. And so Shing Shingate cometh. <laughs> oh. So selling your dignity for a $5 bill, I can't imagine what you would do for a 20. <laughs> Maybe I should ask for your one night stand sleepover buddies. Yikes. Anyways, have one on me. Skip the sugar. Uh, Shingate cometh. You can send me a coffee too. Because I have no dignity at the moment either as a YouTube creator <laughs> and somebody who is not been able to work like she wants to because she's been infected. So... <laughs> But I have been working on my channel. Not this hard, though. Again, the reason being is that, you know, I was an avatar for the longest period of time, and now I'm just out here with all my glory. But, yeah. Then we got little skinny nozzle here and says, please repost the video where Tammy smashes her leg on the crusher steps and you laugh at her and film her through the window while she cries all alone. That sounds terrible. That's so I remember when they went out. And then I saw Tammy gone. This is this is cruel. Really, Tim? You can't comfort somebody when they hurt themselves and then you laugh at somebody? That's not funny. It's just not funny. I, I don't like when people laugh at other people being harmed. It's never funny to me. Uh, here it says, he says, Hi, little skinny nozzle. Thanks for the coffee. I really appreciate it. I know blessings are coming back your way for your generosity. Hope you have a great day. Crush it. Uh, sounds to me like, <laughs> sorry, um, that, uh, you know, he's putting that seed in there. You're not a preacher, Tim. Okay. You don't know what blessings are going to come anybody's way, you know, 
<laughs> Unless that's your your idea of like a comeback, but you know, they I it was worth them to tell you that again for five bucks, Tim, to tell you that you're just a terrible human being. And then Florida, 1948, plus the whole because I'm guessing they were born in 1948, I'd make them like 76 years old or something. It's a shame that the haters just don't get it. They get what crushing means. If they did, they would move on with their lives. It's sad and I feel sorry for them. I know what crushing means. It means to celebrate life to its fullest. Well, Florida 1948, you are such a nice person. Why don't you come and crush it over to my coffee account? <laughs> sorry, I'm just, I'm playing Tim at the moment. Okay, good morning. Thank you again for the coffee. You are amazing. You understand crushing it. And what it means for sure. Oh my goodness. I'm blissfully ignorant of all the other channels and haters as I have eschewed them from my life. That's not even true. And, and then he bought him another coffee over here, Florida 1948. Just another beautiful day for crushing it. I'm enjoying seeing you living your life to the fullest. And I'm guessing that Florida 1948 is, you know, something about Tim is reminiscent of something. So he, you know, good for you. And Dolly Faye finds bottom of coffee too. But he hasn't gotten that $50 that he needs for the golf umbrella and the, the repayment for the golf club. <laughs> All right, Tim. Okay, let's get on this road trip because I'm already talking too long and talking nonsense. Okay, I'm going to share this tab instead. Let's see me on StreamYard. Okay, let me make sure he's bigger. Oh, it's the acts all odd sometimes. Okay, Tim, take it away. Hey, how's it going out there, you 98,000 beautiful souls? My GPS is talking to me while I'm trying to talk. <sighs> Could you not time that better? <laughs> Look at him. He's not even got his seatbelt on. He's like reaching back. YouTube, we've got a wayward, wild YouTuber out here just cruising around. Filming and trying to put a seatbelt on and telling off the GPS all at one time. Oh, my goodness. And then all his things that he's bought and collected over the years, or sorry, over the last couple of months from his subscribers, the free golf clubs, the three cowboy hats that he seems to need, all this stuff. My goodness, he's just living life to the fullest. He's crushing it. Sarasota Tim, road trip, baby, road trip. Turn left onto South yeah, Casino yeah, Drive. yeah. I just left the uh, base camp here in Laughlin, Nevada. We're going to Kingman, Arizona. Kingman's got 8,000 feet if you want to go all the way. It's 3,300 feet in town. It's got golf courses. It's got milder temperatures. It's got a Walmart. And I'm going there to make a video to check it out. And if I find a golf course... I'm going to tee him off. I'm going to tee off today over there. I don't care what it costs. But uh, I don't know if he teed off or not. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Can you not just, you know, could you? Anyway, keep going, Tim. We're going to go over and make a video and find out about it. I really want to know if there's an RV park there. Uh, John, if you're listening, of course you are. Uh, Do you not have internet on your phone? You said you had a hotspot. You can't look up. RV Park, Kingman, Arizona, and see what comes up? Why do you have other people doing your research for you? <laughs> You're so disorganized. I'm not the most organized person, but, geez, you're making me look like a pro, Tim. Uh, for, the, for the time being, until uh, Miss T flies in, that might be a very close place I can go uh, that has an RV park that I can lay up for cheap on a monthly basis and um, and hang out there until she arrives. And then we can begin the traveling and go to Cedar City and uh, Grand uh, Junction and uh, whatever it is, Wyoming's and Dakota's and Idaho's and all these places that are definitely... I'm worried about Tammy traveling with you when you were so mean to her and with the crusher. I just, I just don't think you treat her very well. You know, you're supposed to be like, a, like Southern gentleman, I guess, but you laughing at her. I just, I just, it's very childish. Something about men that do that 
and find that funny at this age to somebody who's supposed to be his partner. I find that really just kind of an underlying cruelty and an enjoyment in seeing other people in pain and discomfort. I just, it's to me, I would be, I would personally, I mean, I'd rather be alone than have to engage in a relationship where I felt that the person I was with was enjoying seeing me get harmed. Like that's for their amusement. That's funny. And that to me shows such a lack of empathy for people that it's not somebody that I would want to be near. I've dated people like that in the past and uh, it's not fun. It's really not fun to be around because I don't think you would want somebody laughing at you if you were hurt. And uh, that's just cruel. It's a level of cruelty that does not exist in my world, not in my form of work either. In the crosshairs that are going to be coming up in the weeks and months uh, ahead here for the summer, we are definitely going to be crushing it. Okay, let me stop sharing before this gets insane. Okay, sorry. Every time I try to end these things, I'm hoping that you don't hear the other video coming in. <laughs> wow, I made it through this one. Oh, I'm looking rough. I keep trying to change my shirts so I don't get in trouble with YouTube's terms of service. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you did make it through this video, God, I appreciate it. I got two more to pump out. I'm making sure that he doesn't do anything else for the day. And I'm going to try to get out early tomorrow morning, get my stuff done so that I can, you know, make sure that I'm just getting my stuff done. <laughs> All right. And then can get back and, and continue with day four of Tim, you know? All right, everybody. If you did like this type of content, though, I'm starting to sound really tired. Subscribe to this channel. I'm almost at 3,000. I'm not going to say it's 30 because that would be a, just a sheer lie. All right. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.